Okay, so we've covered our customary measurement conversions. Now let's move on to the metric system, our metric measurement conversions. Now remember the metric measurement system, that's a mouthful, but the metric measurement system is what really kind of the whole rest of the world uses. Remember, we're special here in the United States. We like our customary, but the rest of the world operates on this metric measurement system. So the good news is, is for our metric measurement conversions, it's all the same steps that we took for our customary conversions. So we're still just trying to convert a unit of measure to an equal amount with a different unit of measure. We still need to write the steps that we are creating if we are doing multi-step conversions. For my compacted kids, you guys are setting up your best friend tables. My accelerated kids, y'all know that this is called setting up a proportion. And on those things, we need our labels. We need to use our star chart. We need to fill in what's known from the questions. And we solve using a scale factor. And we repeat those steps as many times as necessary until we get our final answer. So let's practice doing this with the metric measurement conversions. So let's start with, I'm going to look at this first problem right here, and it says how many millimeters are in two kilometers? Okay, so the two things that I am comparing here are millimeters and kilometers. So I'm going to take a look at my star chart. Oh, we're on the wrong side. We need metric side. All right, so when I look at my star chart, I see that my conversion is I don't have a one step. It's going to take me a few steps to get there, but I can go from kilometers to meters meters to centimeters, centimeters to millimeters. So let's set that up. So we're gonna start kilometers to meters to centimeters to millimeters. So this is gonna be our multi-step problem. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. All right, so let's start with the very first conversion, which is gonna be kilometers to meters. From my star chart, I know that there is one kilometer and that would give me 1,000 meters. So my problem says that I have two kilometers. So I've got options here for my scale factor. I'm gonna go between. So I'm gonna say one times two would give me two. So whatever I do to the top, I also have to do to the bottom. So it would be 1,000 times two would give me 2,000 meters. Now I need to take those meters and turn them into centimeters. So my star chart tells me that one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. I just found that I have 2,000 meters. I'm going to go within this time. So my scale factor is going to be 1 times 100. Whatever I do to the left, I also have to do to the right. So this would be 2,000 times 100 would give me 200 thousand centimeters. And then the very last step is to go from centimeters to millimeters. My star chart tells me that one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeters. And I know that I have 200,000 centimeters. My scale factor within is going to be times 10. Whatever I do to the left, I have to do to the right. So 200,000 times 10 is going to give me 2 million millimeters. Okay, so let's look at our next problem. Our next problem says how many liters are in 4,600, and that's supposed to say liters on there. So how many are in 4,600 deciliters? So when I look at my star chart, here's liters, but the only thing there is milliliters. So there's not even anything that says deciliters on there at all. So this is where your star chart and that proportion, it's not going to work every time. But good news for you is I have a Smith super secret math hack that I think you are going to like more actually than you like the proportion. So when we talk back about our notes that we did over metric and customary, we said that metric conversions, the metric system is based on a decimal. It's a decimal system. So I can have all of these different prefixes here. So I can have a prefix of kilo, of hecto, of deca, deci, 
centi, and milli. All of those are prefixes here. And my metric units are meters, liters, and grams. So I can have a hectometer or a centimeter. I can have a kiloliter or a milliliter. I can have a decagram or a centigram, right? All of these are different prefixes that I can attach to these units. Now, we're going to want to remember the order of these units. That's going to come in handy in just a second. So there's a way for you to remember the order of our prefixes. And it's by talking about a guy named King Henry. So my friend King Henry, he died. I know, really sad. But King Henry died. How, you might ask? He died by drinking chocolate milk. So all of that might sound really, really, really crazy. But if we can remember that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, that helps us remember the first letter of each of our prefixes. So the King would stand for Kilo, H or Henry stands for Hecto, Died stands for Deca, Drinking stands for Desi, Chocolate, centi, and milk, milli. Now, the how part right here is just our basic units, right? Our meters, our liters, and our grams. So here's how we would use our Smith Super Secret Math Hack to find these conversions. And I'm going to go back to our original problem here, where it says how many liters are in 4,600 deciliters? So here's how we use this system here. The first thing we need to do is we need to find our starting unit, and our ending unit. So what I mean by that is when we look at our problem, what unit do I know and what unit am I trying to get to? So I know deciliters and I'm trying to get to liters. So deciliters would be my starting, liters would be my ending. So I'm starting here and I'm ending here. So once I know what I'm starting with and what I need to end with, that's going to help me decide which direction I need to move. So am I going to move to the right or to the left? So if I'm starting at Desi and I'm going to liters, that's telling me I'm moving to the left. The next thing I need to know is how many spaces am I moving? So Desi to liter, that's just one space there. They're right next to each other. So this means I'm moving to the left one space. Now what am I moving? I'm going to move the decimal that many spaces in the same direction. Now, here's just something good to remember. Whole numbers have a decimal at the end of the number. So we can rewrite the number 40 as 40 and 0 tenths. So let's put this in action here. So we said our problem is we want to know how many liters are in 4,600 deciliters. So I'm going to rewrite that number, 4,600, and this represents our deciliters. Now, again, I'm going to be moving a decimal, and right now I don't see a decimal in this number because it's a whole number. So that decimal is going to go at the very, very, very end. So my starting unit was deci. My ending unit is just liters. So that's moving one space to the left. So I need to move my decimal one space to the left. Once I do that, I'm going to rewrite my new number. So this is going to be 460 liters. And just like that, your conversion is done. So let's try this with a second problem. Our next problem says how many milligrams are in five and two tenths kilograms. So I know that I'm starting with five and two tenths kilograms. So I'm gonna come over here to my King Henry died, how? Drinking chocolate milk. And I'm gonna say, okay, I'm starting at kilograms and I'm trying to get all the way down here to milligrams. So if I'm starting at kilo, ending at milli, that's moving from the left to the right. And I'm moving one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So I'm going to come back here to this number and I need to move that decimal six spaces to the right. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I need something to fill all of these blank spaces. And what we're going to use to fill all of these blank spaces are zeros. 
So let's rewrite our number. I have five, two, and then one, two, three, four, five zeros. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, this number, I need to put commas in the correct place. Remember, they go after every third number. So there's one, there's one, and then my new unit is milligrams, or mg. So I get 5,200,000 milligrams from 5 and 2 tenths kilograms. Problems say that Buddy made a snowball weighing 500 grams. What is this weight in hectograms? So I'm trying to go from grams to hectograms. So I'm going to write my number 500. I'm going to come over here and look at my chart. So I'm given the grams and I'm trying to get to hectograms. So this is my starting. This is my ending. So if I'm starting at grams and going to hectograms, that's moving to the left one, two spaces. So I need to take my decimal, which is going to be at the end of the number, and move it to the left one, two spaces. So I get five hectograms. Our next one, the average length of a caterpillar is nine centimeters. What is this length in kilometers? So I'm trying to go from centimeters to kilometers. So centimeters is right here. Kilometers is all the way over here. So if I start at centimeters and I move to kilometers, that's moving to the left. So that would be one, two, three, four, five spaces to the left. So here we go. I'm going to write my nine, put my decimal at the end, and I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five spaces to the left. All of those blank spaces need some zeros. So I get 0 0.00009 kilometers or km. And our last one says the average weight of a ladybug is zero and two hundredths grams. What is this weight in milligrams? So I'm starting at grams and I'm moving to milligrams. So if I start here and I move to milligrams, that's moving to the right one, two, three spaces. So I'm going to write and two hundredths. Let's move it to the right three spaces. One, two, three. And I need a zero in that blank. Now this zero in the front, because there's not a decimal there anymore, now becomes unnecessary. So this is just 20 milligrams or 20 mg. So again, as long as you guys know this right here, this is going to be the quickest way to do our metric conversions. Now, one more thing on our notes that I want to add is what all of these abbreviations look like when we put the prefixes in front of them. So we're going to add those together. We're going to start with meter. So a kilometer would be the, uh, the abbreviation KM. Both need to be lowercase. That is really important. Unless I tell you to write it uppercase, make sure you write it all lowercase. Hectograms are going to be HM. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, not hectograms, sorry. Hectometers are going to be HM. Decameters are going to be D-A-M. And then a meter, obviously, is just M. A decimeter is going to be D-M. Centimeters, C-M. Millimeters, M-M. Moving on to liters. Now, liters are a little bit special with their abbreviations because we always need to capitalize the L. So a kiloliter would be lowercase k, capital L. A hectoliter would be lowercase h, capital L. A decaliter would be lowercase da, capital L. A regular liter, just capital L. Decimeter, lowercase d, capital L. Centimeter, or excuse me, centiliter, lowercase c, capital L. Milliliter, lowercase m, capital L. And then moving on to the grams, everything is going to be lowercase here. So a kilogram would be kg. Hectogram, hg. Decagram, dag. Just a gram, regular g. Decigram, dg. Centigram, CG, milligram, MG.